consider seeing Piero before we set sail to the Grand Ball. Way ahead of you, Sam. Potion for errors, whatever you will. I don't know, you eat babies, don't you? <laughs> That'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? Alright. And we're off. I recall there are a couple ways to do this mission. There are. One of them is to just you don't you don't actually have to figure out which of the three Boyle sisters it is. You can just wipe all three of them out. Just kill all three of them, yes. But if you don't actually if you don't do that, it's better not to do that because like if you don't, then the survivors will send you a rune afterwards as like appreciation for not murdering them all. A rune and some money, I think. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. Now if we seen we haven't seen tall boys before, have we? No. Oh! Oof. Yeah, the tall boys shoot these big flaming, exploding arrows. And they are tall indeed. Remember we fought, we we read like that book or pamphlet a while ago that suggested that like the tall, they may like be like drugged or something? Mm. Yes. Yes. The tall boys are, the tall boys cannot be taken out non-lethally. They can be killed. They can be killed a couple of different ways, but you can't knock them out. Yeah, don't imagine, even if you did, falling from that height would, uh... Yeah, tip, the mo tip over, yeah, they'd be in for a big fall. So yeah, if you're, if you're going through a, uh, non, like a fully non-lethal playthrough, you've got, you've got no choice but to just e e hide, for, evade them. Hmm. I don't think there's a reward for non-lethal, fully non-lethal. You well, I, I think there's like an there's like a, there's like an achievement for it. Oh, okay. Or a trophy, depending on your uh, system of choice. I'm I'm pretty hey, sure there's a steam fireworks. achievement, for instance. Yeah, it's fireworks coming up. That's the boil estate in the distance. I have this unpopular opinion of not liking fireworks unless they're like Disney fireworks. Really. Well, because Disney does, it, the, you know, when they do fireworks, they go all out. They've got like hundreds of fireworks that go off all. Oop. You know now what? I'm wanted. For, I'm wanted for their murders now. The masked felon. Not a very creative title, but no. Um, because I mean, like, if you're not gonna do the Disney style where they launch like ten fireworks at once, you know, and you can't hear anything, and it lights up everything like daylight for a couple seconds. Then what's the point? Uh, you know, I like. You're just gonna... I like fireworks in, in general. Mm. I'm, I'm I'm not as demanding as you are, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> go big or go home. It's, it's, just get out. You're like a you're you're sort of a fireworks snob, I guess. Yes. Or connoisseur, if you want to put a more positive oh. spin on it. Oh no, I'm I'm a snob. <laughs> uh, it's, doesn't connoisseur mean like I have to eat something? No, it's just you know, like a very knowledgeable aficionado of things. Mm. I mean, it's, it's usually used. It's usually used to refer to like, yeah, food or drink, I guess. I'm not you could be a connoisseur of words, clearly. But you could be a <laughs> but you can be a connoisseur of anything. Mm. Like Corvo and brutal death. Yeah, murder. Uh oh. Uh oh. Rats. Yep, they get they get in a big enough group they swarm. Perhaps we can make use of that. But what sort of black hearted villain oh, of course. <laughs> oh, I don't wanna know what's in that water. I see them actually and all I can think is ratatouille. I've never seen that movie. Oh, it's pretty good. On the subject of connoisseurs. Here, ready, ready, ready. I know there's some oil canister. Hi. Right. Here, just like a, it's like leaving a trail of breadcrumbs. Just toss a carcass in. 
Although, I don't rats do not attack weepers. Hmm. So maybe they won't eat the corpses either. I don't really recall. Well, let's go to, pl maybe we'll go to plan B. Explode some misery on them. <laughs> yeah. Who knew oh. misery was so flammable? Uh, if you if you can't feed them to a swarm of rats, that is the next best thing. All right. And like I said, this like, if you, we're not far from like the really you know swanky rich part of town, and yet even just a little ways away, it's this horrible place. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the plague is. Wait, oh, not someone's being attacked by rats. I think. Holy yeah! <laughs> yeah. So nice. we get the we get the best of both worlds. Oh, he's taking a lot of them down though, I gotta say. This guy's a badass. <laughs> well yeah, it is that other guy was like providing fire support from a distance. Again, very nice for getting real close to guys for the for the kill strike. Stars right. Oh, that's a lot of oil canisters. Lots of oil misery to be had. Oh, here comes another guy. In hindsight, I don't know why I didn't just shoot that canister. Yeah, that's that would have been both easier and more entertaining than trying to teleport in. Hindsight's twenty twenty and all that. <coughs> Wonder what he's thinking about. I don't know. That's one of those like random inc incidental dialogue things. You know, I'll write to her again. Oh, <laughs> I didn't execute that very well. Not that close. But she has to see reason. Close enough. Like I said, there's kind of... The guard, like, sort of, like, random dialogue is kind of limited. There's that, and there's and there's the whiskey and cigars, and do you think you'll get promoted? Or do you think you'll get your own squad after what happened last night? There weren't... There weren't the, it, it gets a little repetitive. The answer is no. Oh, oh, yeah, they noticed me up there. There's some weepers up on the roof there. They heard. Oh, there's a uh, tall boy. Now, soon you'll get to see a tall boy. There, there actually is a special takedown for the tall boys. Ooh. One way to kill them is you can if you shoot if you shoot them enough you can kill them, either by hitting the tall boy himself or by hitting his uh, fuel tanks, which will blow up. But uh, seamless, seamless edit. There's an outsider shrine here. Remember, as I've told you before, uh, weepers are actually very dangerous in close combat. Hmm. The weeper lines are pretty sad. Probably for the best. Hey. Oh, look at that dreary! You wanted me to. You wanted me to decide. You asked me to do it. There's a hole in the world. 
interesting. And did you see what it said on the wall over there? Dreary, no. dreary, dreary. Remember who says uh, dreary? Uh, a certain Rags. active senior citizen we know? Yes. Granny Rags. Well, there was this elixir right there. Uh oh. <laughs> just, tri just trips and I chop them up. <laughs> Yeah, actually, I believe the reason for that seamless edit we saw earlier was that I got jacked up from behind by those the first time. Oof. Esma Boyle is a running hound. Is Esma the one who drinks? I don't remember. Oop, Granny Rag's diary. Granny Rag's diary. I can't trust him. You can't love what you don't trust. That's the song the birdies sing when the weather turns cold and forces them out of their nice homes they built. Nice homes spoiled. Spoiled and ruined. Useless now. So the birdies hate the weather that betrayed them. They fly away to look for new homes that aren't so cold and dreary, dreary, dreary. I'm leaving too. My valise is packed. So dreary everywhere I look. I can't bear it anymore. So that's that's what's go that's what's running through Granny Rags' head, I guess. Granny Rags, you may recall, actually voiced by Susan Sarandon. Yes. And I remember when the outsiders talking about her. He says, "Then she made a different choice." I'm wondering if that's what that reference to. You asked me to decide. Oh, well, oh, yeah. Daddy's surrounded by candles, like it was some sort of ritual murder. Well, let's finally grab this thing. Seems like that's an awful lot Is of uh, dreamed of. Here's elixir. Months in Cold Ridge Prison while waiting for the executioner. Wealth, beautiful women in the latest fashion, laughing and drinking Caribbean wine. And what of the host, Lady Boyle? I can see all her tomorrow, and I know that either she dies tonight at your hand, or she'll live out her days, month after month, year after year, far away. Even as her fine clothes wear into tatters and her silken hair dulls and dries. Half the city can see the lights from the party and they dream of the delights inside. Will you tear it all to pieces? Either way, it's Lady Boyle's last party. By the way, I should mention that for most of these, if you go to him af after you've uh, carried out the mission, he will have different dialogue. Huh. Uh, you know, I mean, acknowledging that it's our and 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 even then, he will have multiple possible dialogues, depending on how you resolve the mission. So he'll say one thing if you killed her, and another if you didn't. Which is a nice touch. You see those tanks on his back? You can shoot those if you you got the aim. That's will explode. There's a much more entertaining way to destroy them, though. 